GCSE Higher Practice Paper 4A from MassTutor.biz and MassDVDs.uk. This video clip will be going through question number 12. There we go, this question number 12. So I'll work through the questions, explaining how to do it, and making one or two comments along the way, which may, I hope, find useful and give you the marks that are given to this particular question. Now if you want to see the rest of this paper and have a chance to work through it and then watch all of the solutions and all of the marking and all the other wise comments I make, you'll have to go to massdvds.co.uk or masstutor.biz and buy the DVD that it's on. But that's up to you. But if you want your freebie then this is GCSE Higher, Practice Paper 4A, question number 12. There might be more writing on the exam paper that I've given you, or that you've bought, I should say. No, it's about the same, I think. But sometimes there's more writing on the printed exam paper. This worksheet, sometimes I save a bit of writing to save a bit of space. I think I have, because I've only written that once instead of after each question. O is the centre of the circle. P, O, Q is 100. P, O, Q. Sometimes the examiner writes values on the diagram and sometimes the examiner doesn't. So you can add them to the diagram. Remember the exam paper is yours, so write on it anything that helps. ST is a tangent at Q. So that's all the information we've got. That's the centre of the circle. So before going any further, and even bothering to read the questions, let's just look at what I've got. I've got two radii there, so they're the same length. So I might be able to think of PQO as an isosceles triangle somewhere along the line. This is a tangent. This is a tangent and a radius. The angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees. Maybe the question has got something to do with that. I think sometimes when you do circle theorem questions, it's worth thinking about the diagram before you even read what you've got to find. But that's up to you. Let's jump into the question. Find the angle PRQ. PRQ. This is called the angle subtended at the circumference, and this is the angle subtended at the centre. We could either say on the chord PQ or on the arc PQ, and that's a theorem. The angle subtended at the centre is twice the angle subtended at the circumference. So in fact, A PRQ is half of 100 degrees. Now I might get one mark for that, or I might get no marks. How can I possibly get no marks when it's right? Well, you must give the reason. If you give the reason, you'll definitely get the mark. If you don't give the reason, some marking schemes don't allow you to get that mark for the value, even though it's correct. So we better write down the reason. Because angle subtended at the center is twice angle subtended at the circumference. Now, if you missed out some of those words, I suspect you still get the marks. If you just said angle subtended at centre is twice angle subtended at circumference, I'm sure you'll get the marks. You could say angle subtended on the arc PQ is twice the angle subtended on the arc PQ at the circumference. As long as you get over the gist of what's going on. Two marks. You'll get both marks if you give the angle the accuracy answer and the reason. Possibly no marks if you only gave the 50. 
part B. Find the angle OPQ. OPQ. So let's draw in that chord. The examiner hasn't drawn it on the diagram, but we certainly can. And I think I mentioned this at the beginning. This is an isosceles triangle. So let's write down that OPQ equals, if that's 100, so if I do 180 minus that 100, and then half it, so that's a half of 80, which is 40. So the answer is 40. 40, 40, and 100. But the same argument as here. Maybe I won't get a mark for that if I don't give the reason. I must admit, I'd be surprised if I didn't. But you certainly won't get full marks without the reason. So how am I going to write down the reason? OP equals OQ equals radius. So, triangle POQ is isosceles. You needn't go on and say, add in an isosceles triangle, you will get two equal angles and two equal sides. That is enough. I think the examiner is actually just going to be looking very quickly to see the word isosceles. Possibly to see that the two lines OP and OQ are radii. Definitely two marks there as long as you get the answer and includes the word isosceles. Part C. PQS. PQ. S, this angle here. Now this is actually the angle between a tangent and a chord. Let's look at that again. That's a tangent and that's a chord and that's called the angle between a tangent and a chord. And the angle between a tangent and a chord equals the angle subtended by that chord in the alternate segment. In other words this angle here is the same as this angle here. So let's write down that PQS equals the answer to part A. But uh, same as up here, I need the reason as well. Because angle between tangent and chord equals angle subtended by that chord in the alternate segment. You might get away with just saying the alternate segment theorem. But if you can say the whole thing, or something similar to the whole thing, so much the better. Question 12. 